Hey guys, I um, <clears throat> I shaved off my stubble. Um, I wiped off all the spray tan excess after I had the shower, and uh, I cut my hair. So here's what the poly looks like uh, after it's been applied, and I've given myself a haircut. The hairline getting out of the shower required zero maintenance. If it was a, a lace piece, I would have had to pick away and just really stick it back down and everything. Because the the poly has no penetration of water, it's just basically a raincoat over your head. It just can't capture any water or absorb anything into the glue or anything. It's just absolutely perfect all the way along, as you can see here. And I think it also adds a lot to just have that, that tanned look on your forehead, using this stuff as I used in the previous video. It doesn't look good on the first day you do it, obviously, because it's a treatment. I mean, the stuff that it leaves residually on your skin to begin with is merely an indicator of where you've sprayed. So that's not the dye that's actually going into your skin. That's just some greeny, browny shit that just stays on the surface while you're doing it. So uh, my hair's grown a bit longer overnight, um, but I think this is a hairstyle that suits me uh, this length. So just looking all the way around, you can see I probably need to shave the back of my neck, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to go out and try to get a drink, but also do some research into some scenes that I'll be doing for the end of the showcase. I think you'll agree that this is fairly perfect. Uh, you add the bleach to the poly. Um, if you want to, you can add a bit of spray tan if you're a bit pale. Um, but poly really is maintenance free. If you don't pull on the, on the hairs, you're not going to have any problems with the uh, V-loops coming out too much unless you really have too much water just spraying hard and it starts to fall out too much and you've got to pick them out. But this is day two that I've been wearing the poly piece and uh, I really love it. Uh, I'm going to stick with poly probably forever unless I see any reason that it causes massive overheating. The temperature here at the moment is fairly cold, I'm wearing a jacket. Um, but yeah, I, I released a previous video from my car. I got 10 views and one dislike. I've never had a dislike before I've had a like on any of my videos, so I'll be deleting that because it'll become the new video 93. Um, and hopefully you'll be convinced that getting six poly hair pieces for $560 from Lord Hair with the coupon code stick on hair is an absolutely amazing deal. It'll be about seventy or eighty dollars each for a full hair piece. For me, I get three out of every hair piece, so I get eighteen of them. So twenty-five dollars each for me, or twenty something dollars for me. Uh, yeah, I, I think putting your hair down to about eighteen millimeters, or something like seven eighths of an inch, um, for the short back and sides all the way up to here at this point, and then just letting this bit sort of flow out down to about. Um, eyebrow length at the front is a good traditional hair, short back and sides haircut that would suit basically any male. You can always, always play with your hairstyle, do whatever you want, but I think this length is good um, and I'm not worried about wind blowing it back and showing any of this hairline off. I'm not worried about having any of it revealed at any point. I probably wouldn't go with a full brushed back look without re-bleaching the front because it's not exact in terms of the blondness along there. It's a bit too wall of hair um, because I've only bleached it down from about medium dark, which is medium dark brown, down to about a medium brown here. So the V-lips are not visible, so it's not a complete wall of hair. Uh, it's good enough and I don't think anyone's going to give a shit or notice. They'll just think that guy's got a full head of hair and he's well groomed. So I think uh, that's a pass in terms of poly. And it's probably, I've said this before, but I think this is the best hairstyle and best length I've ever had. It's not immediately after I've cut my hair. So I've had about two weeks of regrowth, which kind of just softens it a bit. And for the, uh, for the product I put in, it's just muck. And when that dries, that should still give me a little bit of styling control without being blown around by the wind too much or anything like that. And 
yeah, I, I just I really feel that the tan adds a huge amount to the overall um, brown hair look. If you've got very dark hair and very light skin, I think it kind of fails a little bit because you look a little bit gaunt. Uh, people with a tan or dark skin kind of always look healthy, whereas pale people often have a tendency to look very um, sickly, especially if they're bald. So, either get hair or a tan, spray tan, don't go out in the sun, it'll kill you, make your skin all old and crackly. Um, I'm a redhead, as I'm sure I've told you before, indicative of the freckles all over my body. Uh, but you can't tell at the moment. Yeah, spray tan is good enough. And I didn't do my hands or my body or anything, just the face, back of my neck and around my decolletage, my decolletage I think it's called. So yeah, that's their 0.03mm poly uh, with peroxide along the front hairline.